Matt from The Random Maker here, and let's figure out how to use this incredibly useful tool known as the jointer. Okay, so what do you need for this? Um, pretty simple. Number one, a jointer. This is just a small tabletop one I got and had for a while. It works awesome. Um, you are going to need a push stick to do any of the facing because your fingers are going to be below the edge of the fence. Push stick and clean wood. Please double check. I actually, a piece I grabbed originally had a nail in it that you wouldn't have seen right away. So always inspect your wood, especially like you can see this one has a screw hole in it, but the screw, I can see light, so it's been taken out. And that's it. And of course, safety glasses and hearing protection. Okay, so let's, before we start actually using this thing, let's go through proper, some safety stuff here. Nate. Number one, no loose clothing, okay? As we can see, nothing here. Number two, nothing on your body that could fall into the machine and get you pulled in. Again, nothing on my body. And don't forget, safety glasses. And as I know there, I do not know of a jointer that ever operates under 86 decibels. We're also gonna wanna use whatever hearing protection you want to use. And yeah, let's get this rolling. Okay, let's take a look at this machine right here. There's a couple common things we need to understand so that when I'm saying I'm in the video, you'll understand. We have our in-feed table. This is the ta feed table that you're going to push your wood starting through. As we can see the guard here, if you try and put it on the out-feed table, nothing. In-feed opens right up. And as you kind of just caught right there, here is your out-feed table on this side. And the other part is the fence right here. Now, the fence is not used right off the bat as you're gonna see but make sure before you go any further that you put a square on there and make sure it's dead flat and square or else your piece of wood is gonna be as twisty as that is compared to that table. Okay, let's actually get a piece of wood and let's show you how it's going. Let's go through which sides are you gonna pick on the jointer before we actually get processing. So number one, let's take our piece of wood. So we always wanna do our face first and this is where we're gonna bring the fence backwards to expose as much of the blade as possible. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is push that side that we just jointed against the fence by bringing the fence in, exposing as little of the blade as possible, and then doing one end. And basically what you wanna do is look down the wood and look for which side is bowed. And you always wanna have the bow with the two ends pointing down. Because what that does is that bow is stable on the table, where if you did the other side that wasn't bowed, it could just rock and you have a non-flat piece of wood. And that's a bad idea. So next thing, every time you joint one of the sides, put an X and an R. What that means, at least for me, is it's been planed or jointed and it's my reference side because you want all the cuts, measurements to come off those two sides only facing the fence or table because that allows you to keep everything as square as wood can be, because wood is a live material, so it does move just a little bit even there. Okay, let's actually get to some planing so we can go through there. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is just check for any nails. Okay, so this is old scrap from Peace Project, so we're gonna go with it there. As we can see, it's pretty rough because this was from fencing, so. Uh, now I want you to watch and let's go from there. Okay, we can see here, um, keeping my wood tight to the table or the face. I'm also not letting my fingers at any point be near the blade, even when it's on top of the wood, because the wood in theory could be soft and you could have a blowover. As you saw, I just jumped my hands over and I calmly and firmly just push the wood in a flat motion on top. As you can kind of see, I've used a few demos. Uh, there's an X already, but just for purpose, I'm gonna draw an X on there so that I know that's my reference side for future use comes very important later on, but for now, trust me. Boom. Okay, so what you can see here, I am exposing as little of the blade because we're gonna switch over to the edge instead of the face. Now, maybe I should use some uh, lube on there, but you know, just expose the little table. Now what I am gonna do is put the back X that we put on the wood against the fence, and this allows our edge to be perfectly square. If you wanna make sure you're actually cutting, I don't know if you can see it well there, but put a pencil line on the edge of your board. All right, X against the fence, and we're just gonna push it over. Now, 
keep in mind my fingers are above the fence and that is when you are not required to use a push stick and we can still see my hands jumping over the blade checking to make sure everything's good and we're gonna do no more passes we can see the pencil line is good and that's about it okay this is gonna seem like a really quick short overview of the jointer and that's kind of the whole point the jointer is just the first use machine and you should now take that piece of wood with your two act front X's for your reference face and edge over to a planer and yeah okay that's about it hey if you like that video why don't you help us out why don't you put a you know like hit the like button down there yeah it's not that hard to click 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 and if you have any other ideas or projects why don't you put it in the comments below and then so you don't miss any other content why don't you try and subscribe for us see if you like us until next time it's Matt from the random maker saying Let's get making.